of lamp. So before going to a two-way and three-way of lamp, usually the domestic lighting circuits are quite very simple and they are usually controlled from one point. But in certain cases, we require to control the lamps by using a two-way or a three-way control of lamp. So before going on to the two-way lamp, let us see the simple switch circuit, how it will work, usually day-to-day -day life what we are using. So let us consider a circuit. So let us have a lamp here, which will be connected to a switch and that will be given to a supply. So this is a phase and this is a neutral. So where it will be connected to a single phase supply, we'll be giving 230 volt, 50 hertz supply. And here we have a switch and this is a lamp. So usually how the lamp will glow or the normal switch will work. So it will have an on and off control. So usually when it is off, the circuit will be open. So as we know the concept that, so the current will not flow through the open circuit. So when we close the switch or when you switch on the switch, the circuit will be closed and the current will pass through that so the lamp will glow. So this is the normal working principle how the normal switch will work with a lamp. But if you consider for a two-way lamp, it is similar to this itself. But the thing here difference what we have here is we will be using two switches to control a lamp instead of using a single switch we will be using a two switches so we are naming this one as switch one and switch two so if you consider this this connection will be similar to the single switch so line will be there from the line it is given to a lamp that is a phase then from the lamp it is given to switch 1 then switch 2 to a neutral so obviously here we are controlling this particular lamp using two switches so obviously we will be having two terminals in the switches that is one is on and off similarly here the contact will be in a such a way that so between two switches we are going to make a connection with a wire so example we are taken here 1 and 3 here 2 and 4 so between 1 and 3 we have given a connection and between 2 and 4 we have given a connection so now when switch 1 is at position 1 and switch 2 is at position 3 so what happens the current will flow through the lamp it will go to switch 1 then at that position it is connected to line 1 then from 1 to 3 we have a connection and we have already made the connection from that is 3 is connected to a switch so from there it will go to neutral so we will have a close path so because of that the lamp will glow so now if you consider the second case so when a <coughs> switch 1 s1 is connected at 1 and switch s2 is connected at 4 so now from line to lamp lamp to switch which is connected to 1 then 1 to 3 but now switch s2 is connected to 3 so that's how your current will not flow through the circuit as uh, your s1 is connected to 1 and s2 is connected to 4 so there will be an open circuit there is no close path so that's why your lamp will not glow if you go for the next case so line to a lamp then lamp to switch s1 which is connected to line 2 now then 2 to 4 then it is connected to a s2 so now we have a close path so the current will flow through the circuit that's how your lamp will glow if you the last case if your switch s1 is connected to 2 and switch s2 is connected to 3 again from the line to lamp lamp to s1 s1 to 2 2 to 4 but now s2 is connected to position 3 since we have an open circuit the lamp will not glow so totally we will be having four different possibilities that is when switch s1 is at position 1 switch s2 can be changed from position 3 to position 4 
so two combinations now switch s1 is at position 2 and switch s2 can be varied between 3 and 4 so considering that what we can do is we can consider the truth table with four different possible combination that is when position s1 and position s2 and the condition of the lamp so as we discussed earlier so when it is between 1 and 3 so obviously we'll have a closed path that's why your lamp will be at the on condition now if you go with switch 1 is at position 1 and switch 2 is at position 4 there will be an open circuit because we don't have a connection between 1 and 4 so that's why your lamp will be at off condition now if you go with switch s1 at position 2 and switch s2 at position 3 again between 2 and 3 we don't have any connection so there will be open circuit so lamp will be at the off condition now go with the last condition when s1 is at position 2 and s2 is at position 4 between 2 and 4 we have a connection so there will be a closed path so that's how your lamp will be at the on condition so this is how your two-way switch will work so the another name for a two-way switch is also called as a staircase lighting so especially we are going to use the two-way switches for the staircase purpose so why is nothing but when we are the downstairs we are going to switch on the lamp and when you climb that one to switch off again we cannot come down and switch off that one that's why i wanted to control the switch one is at the downstairs another one is at the upstairs that's why we usually you want to use the two-way switches for the staircase purpose that's why it's also called as a staircase lighting but nowadays we are using a two-way switches for on our rooms also so near the bed we will be having one control and when we enter the room we will have uh, one more control so like that we will be using for the multiple purposes similarly we have a three-way la control lamp so here in the three-way control lamp it is almost similar to two-way lamp but the difference here what we have is we have a one more switch which is called as intermediate switch so switch one is there as it is switch two and we have as a intermediate switch s3 so in three-way switch we have a two type of connections that is nothing but when we are going to control our light using a intermediate switch it can be of a straight connection or it can be of a cross connection if you are going with a cross connection so then circuit will be little bit different but if you are going with a straight connection it is similar way of working like a two-way lamp now you can see here so if you consider with the two-way control a three-way control it works like a two-way control itself so now a line two a lamp then lamp to a then from lamp to a switch s1 then s1 to s3 s3 to s2 s2 to a neutral connection is given so if you give a connection like this l2 lamp lamp to s1 now when switch s1 is at position 1 then 1 to a we have a connection since it is a straight connection the connection will be between a and b inside the switch then b to 3 we have a connection now we switch is at position 3 s2 we have a closed path so now the lamp will glow so as we can compare with this one with the two-way lamp so if you remember so what we discussed earlier when switch s1 is at position 1 and switch s2 at position 3 since we have a both connection between 1 and 3 the lamp will glow have a closed circuit so here also you can see 1 to a we have a connection a to b since it's a straight connection b to 3 means 1 to 3 we have a connection using a intermediate switch the lamp will glow similarly if you go with switch s1 is at position 1 and switch s2 is at position 4 obviously between 1 and 4 we don't have a connection so the lamp will not glow now if you go with the third case when switch s1 is at position 2 and switch s2 is at position 3 again between 2 and 3 we don't have any connection that's why the lamp will not glow but if you go with the fourth case when switch s1 is at position 2 and s2 is at position 4 between 2 and 4 we have a connection so there will be a closed path that's why 
the current will flow in a circuit so your lamp will glow so your three way switch in straight connection it is same as a two way switch but if you go with the cross connection so in the cross connection what we will be doing is here you can observe in a straight connection between a and b and c and d we have the connection but in the cross connection by connecting the intermediate switch between a and d and b and c we can establish the connection now if you see the condition lamp line to lamp lamp to switch s1 now switch s1 is at position 1 and s2 is at position 3 1 to A we have a connection since it's a cross connection now A to D we have a connection then D to 4 we have a connection but switch S2 is at position 3 now so we don't have a closed circuit now so the lamp will not glow so now L2 lamp lamp to S1 when switch position at 1 1 to A A to D now if switch S2 is at position 4 then we have a close path since it's a cross connection now you can see between 1 and 4 we have a connection between 2 and 3 we have a connection that's why when switch s1 is at position 1 and 4 the lamp will glow between 2 and 3 the lamp will glow between remaining two conditions 1 and 3 and 2 and 4 the lamp will not glow as it is a open circuit so that's how totally we'll have a eight possible combinations since we have three switches s1 s2 and s3 so the eight possible combinations will be like this so when we have a straight connection so it is similar to a two-way switch between we have a connection between one and three two and four so that's why when the switch position is at s1 is at one and s2 is at position three the lamp will glow at two and four the lamp will glow and the remaining condition one and four two and three the lamp will not glow but when you go with the cross connection now the connection is established between 1 and 4 and 2 and 3 now so that's why when the switches are connected between 1 and 4 the lamp will glow between 2 and 3 the lamp will glow because it's a cross connection between 1 and 3 it will not glow between 2 and 4 it will also not glow so this is how we can use a three-way switch control so these are especially used in case of a long corridors or a long pathway where we can be using with the three-way switches so this is the application and how we are going to make the connection for a two-way switch and the 